Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own design using CorelDRAW 6. Uh, as you saw on the previous video, if you haven't seen it, uh, I invite you guys to check it out. We show you a car magnet with a black glossy background and gold letters with a, a clip art or a logo there. And we have a question about how we make those type of designs and I promise you I was going to show you guys how do we do it using CorelDRAW 6 and here is the video. I'm going to show you quick here. I'm going to try to be uh, quick so that way you can, uh, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, but I, of course I'm going to show you the basics. So basically what I'm going to start doing is work on the house and uh, first what I'm going to do is like here to the left, There's you will see this bar here. And there's like shaped circles, triangles, and squares or rectangle. I'm gonna do in this occasion. I'm gonna make a rectangle. Uh, you can mold it any any type you want, either square, or rectangle, of course. But if you make a double click, you can see that you cannot do anything else except for maybe like flip it to your left and to the other side. But you cannot. Uh, mold or transform this shape into more shapes and what do I mean let me show you so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to where it says arrange and go to shaping and click where it says weld and what that does is that it makes this shape uh, you can mold it now like double click again on your mouse and you can basically like click make a point here and, and stretch it on this side and it's gonna go like this and it's gonna do the same on this side so that's what I, we're going to uh, do right now so what I did here is uh, we're gonna work on the roof uh, you can add color if you want I like to add color and uh, you can stretch it too if you, if you think it's not that um, stretched or whatever but right now, don't worry about that. We're going to make three dots here. And why three of them? Well, let me show you why. We're gonna stretch it here and make another roof, like roof type. And uh, the more you see this video and the more you're gonna get it, what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, work on the sides. Uh, right now, it doesn't make sense what th this is, but to me it is. I know what I'm going to do. So basically, it's pretty much just click and stretch and click. So if you, I, I'm going to do the, the chimney here. And I'm, you can either do it uh, like, like that or you can add like a 3D shape. Let me show you what I mean by that. 3D. Just click another one here and stretch it down. And there, there it is, there's a chimney there. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little more wider. I think it's too thin. I think chimney is supposed to be big enough so Santa Claus can fit in, right? <laughs> so anyway, hopefully you guys had a good year. Uh, we did. Thank you so much for your support. And we really appreciate, we are working on great things for you guys this year so hopefully we can continue helping you guys with your uh, decal business so now uh, we're open for ideas to suggestions if you guys want videos too um, you can kind of ask too and i also want to thank not only the people that been you know helping us but also the people that are extra supporting us by joining our VIP memberships, uh, which we currently have two of them now. In case you didn't know, we have, uh, well, we are not an ASMR channel, but we, there's people request those type of videos. And since we're not a, an ASMR channel, we're more like educational. We decided to just do like a membership for people that like ASMR. So if you want to check it out and support us, which I mean, you already guys are supporting us a lot. We really appreciate it. But if you want to extra support us, you can join the VIP team and help us like that. So 
I don't know what I did that, but um, <laughs> well, let's get rid of that. So in case something you don't like it, you can just, uh, let me show you again, okay? You just double click and I don't know if you can see these dots here, you can get rid of them. Just uh, pick the ones you wanna get rid of and just click on your desktop uh, delete and that's it, they're gone. And so that way you can keep continue working on different shapes. If you're not satisfied with one shape, you no problem. You can just double click and as I show you, you can get rid of them. I'm gonna make this a little more, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, the more you practice, the more you're gonna learn how to make this type of designs. And I don't know if you saw me pull this uh, dotted uh, line here. I like to use those a lot because that's how I make uh, my designs like uh, align or straight, you know, make sure that they're aligned. So um, it's up to you. Everyone has their own style, but that's what I like to do. Uh, there's more here to the side. You can pull in horizontal or vertical, uh, whatever you, you like, whatever you need. And this is why I love Corel Draw because it is very simple to me, of course. Uh, for many of you who are not familiar with this software, uh, I know I understand that it can be difficult in the beginning, but again, the more you practice, the more you are gonna uh, learn. So that's what I recommend that you guys practice a lot with your designs. And uh, as you can see here, we're just like working on a very simple design. It's very close to the one that I uh, we recently made on our previous episode. So I don't know, it's taking shape right now. Uh, you can make this more thicker if you like to the same length as this one, but I wanna uh, kind of like, you know, make it look like it's a uh, far distance, uh, top roof or second floor. So right now, I don't know if you are, can notice what I'm trying to do here, but it's it's pretty simple. I'm gonna do like a building in the background in a minute. I'm gonna show you how I do those buildings. And they're not really that difficult, but um, let me work on this first. And yeah, here we go. Uh, now it's taking shape. And the good thing about this type of designs is that they're not only just 100% yours, you can sell them or do whatever you like with them, but they're really easy to make. Like I say, the more you practice, the more you're going to learn and become a pro. I don't consider myself a professional, but I, because, you know, I didn't go to school for this or I just learned like many of us do today on YouTube. There's a lot of good content today. Uh, there's, I don't believe there's an excuse for anybody anymore these days. Uh, if you want to learn or stay behind, it's up to you. But there's a lot of tools online that you can use today. So, uh, and there it is, there's that part. And now we can get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do now is make this smaller. Oh, not too small. Okay, now we're gonna work on the windows. So what I'm gonna do now is go here to the left and choose that, uh, the, the shapes there, I'm gonna do um, sometimes I make my windows square, like four squares and kind of like, let me show you, make another copy here, just like that. Uh, that's how I usually make my windows, but, um, on this occasion, I'm going to show you how to do it differently. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to do, you can do it squares, but on this occasion, I'm going to do mine. Let, let me get rid of this too. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with that. Go to arrange, go to shaping and click on wealth and stretch this and to the top a little bit more. And why? Let me show you why. Because we're going to make this window rounded. So as you can see, is it's not, you can do it like this if you want. I mean, it's up to you again. Like Bob Ross says, it's your world, it's your imagination. You can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna make my windows rounded. 
So I'm going to go on the mouse and make a right click and it has to be like this. And then choose to curb. And now you can alter the shape, make it rounded. And yeah, that should be good. All right. Now we're going to highlight these two shapes and click on the keyboard, the letter C for center. Now we're going to make another copy here. And then here you can see this shape here and it says mirror. We're going to click that and it's going to make a copy, but uh, on the other side to the other side mirror. So, okay. So let me make a copy here because I decided that the top one on the second floor, they're going to be different. They're going to be different than the, the other ones. They're not going to be rounded. And I'm going to center this. All right. Now it's taking shape. All right. Very simple. Let's put that one up there. And now we got the top part. Okay. Now I'm going to make another copy here because we're going to make the other side different because I don't like the same thing. Gets boring. You know, you know what I mean? All right, now they're all together, weld, and we can put this, place this on this side. And again, I I usually try to use the center of the triangle here. So not super perfect, but like close. All right, that's good enough. And on this one, we're gonna make the windows a little more fancy. So we're gonna place that one here. And there it is. There's the the first part of the design. You can kind of fool around with it. If you're not happy with the shape here, you can uh, pull this up a little bit. Uh, you can do whatever. Again, it's your world. You can do whatever you like as you like. I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to work now on the background on the building that I promise you I'm going to make. So. Now what we're going to do is uh, after we're done, we're going to click wealth and the whole house it's now in one shape. Okay. Now let's work on the background. All right. So for the background, we're going to make a building. Uh, this is going to be for a real estate uh, logo. So we're going to try to make it nice. Uh, it's going to be a building in the back, make it like this house is in a nice neighborhood. And there's like a rural area, but there's also some buildings too. So I'm going to show you step by step. So what I did here, let me show you again. I just make like a simple, like a stripe shape here. Let's put some color. And what I'm going to do now is drag this dotted line here, place it there. And I'm going to go to a range, of course, and click on weld. So that way we can alter and or mold this shape just stretch it like this and make another click here then pull it to the side like right there that should be good all right now let's get rid of that now let's make it smaller all right so now what i'm gonna do is drag another copy here just use your mouse grab it with the left click just drag with the uh, uh, right click, I'm sorry, not left, and then pull down and then place it there. Okay. And now we're going to highlight all three and center. And now we're going to do the same, do three copies so we don't have to do one by one. Just make it easier for you. And uh, we're going to make it a little more taller. So it's going to be a nice big building. So, all right, that should be good. All right, so now we're gonna center all of it and make click on weld so that way it's all in one shape now. All right, it's all in one shape. So let's make this a different color. Go to the background and why do I wanna be uh, go to the background? Because we're gonna let me show you. Okay, after you're done with the building, you're gonna make a right click on the mouse. Choose the, the, the red color, right click and go to order and place on the back of the page. OK, 
okay now it is on the back of this design so you're gonna here you can uh, choose whatever spot you want it doesn't have to be exactly there you can do it here or let me uh, let, I'll tell you what let me make another copy here we can have two buildings why not you know what I decided they're kind of big for this design so we're gonna make it a little more smaller okay so there's two buildings now you can uh, decide whether you want this one to be the tallest one or the other one is again it's all up to you so now we're gonna choose the black color see you a uh, this color here tells you which uh, uh, shape you choose so let's say you pick the red one it's red you pick black it's black it means you are this is why it's important that you change the colors on each shape okay so now we're gonna make these two twin brothers here we're gonna uh, make them into one shape weld now they're all together now we're gonna pick the black one and then on, on the keyboard on your computer or your desktop you're gonna click shift and then click on the red and it's all together now and now you're gonna go up here and go where it says trim all right it is trim we're gonna separate this break apart and now you're gonna choose all this um, extra sites here and get rid of them because uh, you don't want to cover that side with uh, it's just a back background you know so now let me show you what I did here I'm gonna highlight all, all two again and make them into one shape now you're gonna zoom in and kind of like with the mouse like lift it up a little bit not too much but enough so you can still see the the line here the like a uh, uh, they call those a count contour it will look like it's a contour but it is not I mean you can still tell it's a building but if the customer decides wants one color you can they can still see the shape you know you can still see all these nice details uh, it's whatever you want and uh, if the customer wants two colors you can do red and black like that or backwards whatever all right so now final step we're gonna work on a uh, clip art all right so now we're gonna uh, put like a tree a pine tree here because uh, it's let's uh, let's say this house it's in a nice neighborhood where there's still a lot of trees but there's also a background uh, they can still see the city so what i'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you you don't have to do everything by hand so I'm gonna show you how you can convert an image into a clip art and I'm gonna or a silhouette figure shape whatever you want to call it so here's a picture of a real pine tree I'm gonna make a right click copy image and paste on my software which is Corel draw 6 all right and now there's a picture and make sure it's a real uh, shape because you don't want to use another clip part from somebody else you might get in trouble for copyrights you never know so uh, this is a real image you're not you, you shouldn't have any problems with it uh, but now we're gonna click on the image and go where it says oops uh, bitmaps we're gonna go to bitmaps and choose where it says model go black and white all right now let's zoom out with the mouse and uh, I don't know if you can see this uh, like a menu here click uh, and then you're gonna choose line art and click OK now it's black and white but it's still an image now what we're gonna do is choose this, the image and go to bitmaps again uh, go to bitmaps outline trace and then clip on clip art now it's going to transform this image into a clip art or a vector image whatever you want to call it now let's get rid of that all right now it is a clip art but i don't know if you can see all these 
details where which is really 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 uh, hard when it's time to peel out the sticker it can be a real pain i mean even though it looks nice it's it looks like a real like pine tree but uh, you don't have to deal with this uh, all these details here so what i'm gonna do now is uh, go to um, arrange shaping and then click where it says create a boundary what that's gonna do is just gonna sh uh, choose like the size of the, the pine tree let me show you the difference now you don't see all the details inside so it got rid of all this i mean it still looks a little difficult but it reduced it to uh, even lower levels so you don't have to deal with all minor details so now this is what you want all right now let's make this green because it's a pine tree it's supposed to be green all right now here comes the part where you going to decide where you want your pine tree i want mine here so we're gonna do basically the same thing we did with this building so we're gonna make a right click order and go to the back of the page all right and what's next you guessed it we're gonna choose this the house click on the keyboard shift and then click on the green one and then go trim and now we're gonna break apart okay so now let's get rid of all this details here and finally we have our pine tree in the background make a um, wealth so it's all in one shape and yeah we're also going to make a little space here between the house and the pine tree we can probably make it more lower okay so there it is so now we're gonna add some uh, stars and the name and a gold background and it should look nice now as you can see i already added the uh, name and what i like to do with my designs i always like to add the five stars because you know it represents good rating and quality so that's one of the things that i recommend you do too uh, to impress your customers and here on the left side i already have like a gold color with a black background and usually customers fall in love with their designs when you send it like this and this is a, a clip art, a whole art, uh, all in one color. You can make it blue, whatever color you want. And yeah, that's how simple it is. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully this video uh, kind of show you how we do our designs. And again, let me thank you guys for all these years of support and also the VIP members who are been supporting us and all the great things that we're going to bring for this year. Hopefully we can still help you with your business and improve it. So that way all of us can make good sales and so we can make money. So thank you so much, guys. I am Luis and hopefully this video was um, simple and also very good for you. And if you have questions, of course, leave them on the comment questions. We'll try to get to them as quick as possible as we are also kind of getting busy now but uh, we're gonna try to keep up with the content so thank you so much guys i will see you guys again on another video thank you